Dean James the third percent right-wing tribune, a massive manhunt is underway for a man who shot and killed a Tennessee sheriff's deputy, according to officials. A Dixon County Sheriff's deputy got into an altercation with the suspect when the deputy responded to a report of a stolen vehicle in Kingston Springs. Officers said they lost contact with the deputy and were able to find him by tracking his vehicle, where they found him shot dead inside the car, Fox News reports. We've also added Wiggins to our top 10 most wanted list. There is now a reward of up to $2,500 for information leading to his arrest. Pig.twitter.com slash Volk, TBI at Tub Investigation, May 30, 2018 New picture, here's a more recent photograph of Stephen Wiggins, from a 2017 arrest in Williamson County. New picture, here's a more recent photograph of Stephen Wiggins, from a 2017 arrest in Williamson County. Pig.twitter.com slash QDSMGKBNMN TBR at Tub Investigation May 30, 2018 The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation identified the suspect as Stephen Wiggins. He is described as a white male with balding, brown hair. There is now a $7,500 reward for information leading to his arrest, officials said. Update, thanks to the generosity of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives at ATFHQ, the reward for information leading to the arrest of Stephen Wiggins stands at $7,500. Pig.twitter.com slash D7Go19IC9N TBI at Tub Investigation May 30, 2018 Officials said a female was being interviewed in connection with the incident but further details were not available. Police said Wiggins was fighting with his girlfriend on Tuesday and allegedly slapped her, held her at gunpoint and stole her car. He was wanted for aggravated assault and theft in connection with that incident, WSMV reported. An alert for an armed suspect was issued for residents in Dixon and authorities urged residents to contact authorities if they see anything suspicious. Video on social media appeared to show state troopers in tactical gear converging on the area. Wiggins has an arrest record. He was convicted for aggravated assault, theft, vandalism and domestic assault. Earlier this year, the suspect was ordered to show up for community service but never showed up. Officials didn't officially identify the officer, but family and friends told the Tennessean that it was 32-year-old Sergeant Daniel Baker who was killed. Our hearts are shattered, one of best deputies was killed. He's one of the guys who puts it on the line every day to keep up safe. Sheriff Jeff Bledsoe said. The Tennessean reported the baker who was employed with the sheriff's department in 2008 made headlines after he chased an intoxicated man who shot a gun in the parking lot of a theater. He also helped a woman in 2013 who was trapped underwater in an overturned vehicle. Since the start of 2018, at least 40 law enforcement officers across the U.S. have died while on duty, with 25 of the deaths caused by gunfire, Fox reports. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the officers' family, friends and fellow officers. Rest in peace and thank you for your service.